just tied up my hair just to give it a little bit of volume I have nothing on my face and I'm going to start off with my favorite primer and that is from The Ordinary this is the Fluidity Primer which is just less than six pounds I've spoken all about this in my monthly favorites so you can go check it out and every time that you know if you are someone who's suffering from acne and you know acne scars then a primer is, is an important step especially something with a silicone base and you just need a little bit of it and you have to put it in the key area and after I apply my primer I wait for a good five minutes before I start off with my makeup uh, you know with my foundation because I really want the primer to just settle in my skin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my eye makeup that way my primer will sit on the skin and for my eye makeup I'm going to start off with a primer an eyeshadow primer and that is the HD eyeshadow primer from NYX I'm also going to put this on my under eye area so that you know the whatever my eye pencil and my eyeshadow on my waterline will not spread Now that I want a very smoky, you know, eye makeup done, what I'm going to start off with is my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition Palette and I am going to start off with a base color like Coco and then once I get that base color, I'm going to build black over it. I'm taking the Morphe M433 brush and just going to quickly put that you know brown eyeshadow all over it to go for black truffle it's not the best pigmented black uh, eyeshadow in her palette but what I'm going to do is just to make it a little more pigmented I'm going to wet the brush with a fixing mist I'm just going to put this in the mid section of my eye and not on the crease. And with the same blending brush, the one that I used for cocoa, I'm going to take a little bit of cocoa and I'm going to blend that so there's no harsh line. I'm going to blend the crease. Take your time when you blend. Now go over the same black eyeshadow again. This is the W7 shade and swap. I do love it because if you open it, it's got this black sponge applicator and you just have to run your brush over it if you really want to clean it up this is a great investment for you guys I got this from the drugstore this was around three pounds or something and I really like it can you see how clean my brush is it just cleans the brush really well so that you can just use the same brush for blending quite a genius product I'm taking the Redemption Palette Acid Bright from Makeup Revolution and I am going for this very pretty blue color with the same Morphe M506 brush. I'm just going to apply that onto the crease line. It immediately turns into a very iridescent blue shimmery gray color when you start blending it. It's very very beautiful. And I do love the Makeup Revolution guys, they are very very pigmented. So as you can see I'm putting more of that in the inner corner of my eye. This is just going to give and break that color and give it like a three dimensional effect of brown, black and grey. This is my favorite brush and I hope you guys have seen my monthly favorites. I've explained why this is my favorite brush just gets onto the crease line beautifully because of how thin and tapered this brush is 
now I'm going to do my wing liner. I have done a whole tutorial on how to you know apply your wing liner and false lashes. You can check it out. I'm just using this as my guideline. To always intensify your wing liner, you should run a black eyeshadow over it. I'm going to apply these lashes and I have a whole tutorial on how to apply false lashes. I shall be right back. I am just going to apply my concealer and I will do the waterline much more later once I apply the concealer and I am going with my collections uh, lasting perfection. I'm in medium. This is number three. I'm really loving these uh, brushes that I got from Primark. So affordable and they kind of do the trick. Since I got um, a little zit out here because, you know, that time of the month, I am just going to take a very clean brush and I'm going to take an orange shade, any eyeshadow, and I'm going to put it on top of this, dab it any of the places that I have a little bit of you know a dark area because when you have acne and you know textured skin you just need to use a, a stippling brush take a little bit and just gently dab over it don't buff it out you can do the same thing with your beauty sponge you can just like dab onto the areas that you need coverage and stipple it. Take your time. I'm not putting it under my eyes because it has concealer. I don't want the concealer to move. So the foundation that I'm going for is my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the magic foundation and I'm in 08. You know, your forehead is okay since there's no much texture on the forehead. You can just like buff it out. Now I'm going to go for a little more lighter concealer under my eyes just to brighten it up. I'm going with the Naked Skin from Urban Decay and in medium neutral. I'm quickly going to set my under eye with a banana powder and I'm using the NYX color correcting powder. Going for my Urban Decay for version. Because you know your Indian makeup requires loads of coal. And this is my favorite eye pencil. It is so creamy, so long lasting, and don't forget on your upper lashes as well. When you put a brown eyeshadow over your or a brown eye pencil over your coal, it just gives that very beautiful, subtle, smoky effect. Just to smoke that out, I'm going in with an eyeshadow stick. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is uh, Golden Quartz. It's like a hazel brown color. And now I'm just going to blend that out. I'm just going to brush away this uh, powder and I'm going to contour my face and for that I'm going for my LA uh, sorry LA Girl Pro Concealer and Beautiful Bronze just a little bit I'm going to take my favorite electro blush from NYX and I'm just going to apply that with the same stippling brush. When you have textured skin or acne scarring or acne, you should never put too much of highlighter on your face because a highlighter highlights the key area of your face. So this is just to give you a little bit of a glow. That doesn't mean that you know people suffering from acne cannot wear highlighter. You just need to be really smart about it.
We do our eyebrow. I'm going in with my favorite eyebrow pencil. This is the Party Queen eyebrow pencil and it's my favorite eyebrow pencil. It's creamy, it applies really well. So I'm going to mimic my you know, hair stroke right here on the corner and I am going to gently just elongate it. Now I'm going to draw my, you know, my lip line with my lip pencil and a lot of you have been asking me exactly how to apply a liquid lipstick. I kind of showed you how to apply a liquid lipstick in my, you know, the best red liquid lipstick series. All that will be in the info bar. But for now, I have to tell you that when you apply a liquid lipstick, it is very important for you to scrub your lips really well. I'm going for my sugar scrub. This is a DIY, it's my last video and you can check it out because this DIY is so great. I always find it much more better when I apply a lip liner. Usually it's even better if you can master applying a lip liner with your liquid lipstick so that it will last longer. I'm using an ordinary lip liner, this is from Kiko Milano, this is 708 and it's the Smart Lip Pencil in pink and draw an X and draw an X I'm going to go for the Beauty Bakery Ginger Snap When you have acne, always go for a matte setting spray or matte foundation. Don't go for something that's got a bit of glow because that will highlight the texture on your skin. So I'm just applying that very little. And just in the middle of my lips, I'm just going to apply at the Mystic Lipstick from Sleek. So this completes a very dramatic Indian makeup look. I hope you're enjoying the Indian makeup series, especially for people who are suffering from acne and acne prone. I just want to let you know, wanted to show you that the same technique can be applied to people who have problematic skin. Don't forget to share, comment and like guys. Do share it with your friends who have, you know, pro uh, problematic skin. And so until later, bye for now.